Well, good afternoon. How are you? I hope you're doing well. I hope you are indeed a blessed person. I want to talk to you for just a few minutes. This is Ollie Rush about what matters in any life. What matters in any life. We seem to to be experiencing a problem here. But I want to see if I can clarify that problem just a little bit. Maybe it will for some and others would refuse or not pay it any attention. But I want to talk to you about what matters in any life. We must understand that there is a matter, but it is not in skin color. It is in the heart. We can tell what matters most to a person because it flows from the heart and rolls past the lips. It comes out each time a word is spoken. Why is that? You ask. Because it is within a man's heart what he believes. That is what he is made of. Sometimes it remains there until something in life brings on a desperate desire to let it come forth. When it comes forth, it comes with beauty. It comes with anger. It comes with the you. What is really you? Sometimes we never know who that you really is until it is your time to say in your own way, this is who I really am. Does it matter most that I am above ground or sleeping soundly in my grave? But that is a question one looks back and asks himself. What mattered in life to me? Now ask yourself this same question. Are the matters in life significant to you? If you were to categorize those matters, what importance would you place on them? This is a question some never ask themselves. Why not do it now? What's first? Are there principles governing the way you live? Are you living those principles? Who are you? Are you one of those who lives the life of several characters? You don't know who you are? You change with the weather? On Monday you are this? On Friday you are that? What matters? What makes a man a man? What makes a woman a woman? Do you have to count the ways or do you really know who you are? On this earth we are in constant need of finding ourselves. Sometimes we go to our jobs and discover we've left ourselves behind and would like very much to go back home and retrieve self. We live here on this earth in constant need of finding self. Then we realize we have no self until we understand that identity lies in the great creator. Identity is given to us individually. We cannot find it in others. It's not even in the mirror that we sometimes spend a few minutes, a few extra minutes looking ourselves over. The mirror is not the answer either. We are individuals. There is a oneness in each of us that says, I am the only one like me. We are battling and fighting to become just a little bit more than what we are. Sometimes we find a foot over on a friend or neighbor's head. The blood in all of us joins us in togetherness. It makes us distant brothers and sisters. From one blood made I all nations, God says. The battle we fight now will never be won until we learn to look back, not down, Extend a hand to pull each other alongside us. When we can do that, racism disappears. Concern grows. People cease to perish. And life is really enjoyed by all. Hopefully, that helps someone. I hope and pray that it did. And I will see you on the next Have a good day.